Edge Environment is a leading consulting firm specialized in supporting companies to measure, understand, and manage the environmental and social impacts of their products, services, and operations. In recent years, there has been a massive growth in the responsible products market. Recent studies have shown that two thirds of sales growth in the US are products perceived as responsible. Those claiming to be natural, organic, local, recyclable, biodegradable, GM free, fair trade, carbon neutral, the list goes on and on. With so many responsible product claims, how do we determine which product guarantees the best outcome for the environment? What makes one product more sustainable than the alternatives? To compare products fairly, it is important to consider impacts over the whole product life cycle. From raw material extraction to final waste disposal, or from cradle to grave. To do this, we use Life Cycle Assessment, or LCA, a tool for quantifying the environmental performance of products over the complete life cycle. Let's take a look at the life cycle of beer to see how two options stack up against each other. Larry is wondering if it would be better to buy an imported German beer served in a glass bottle or a locally brewed beer in an aluminium can. The life cycle of a beer can be traced back to the production of hops and barley. These crops require the use of land, water, pesticides and fertilizers, leading to toxic impacts and oxygen depletion in waterways. Diesel is also needed for tractors to plough the field. While the hops can go straight to the brewery, the barley is taken to be malted. Energy from fossil fuels is needed for transport as well as at the malting plant. Burning fossil fuels for energy not only causes global warming, but also emits air pollutants, some of which cause respiratory problems for humans. The malted barley is then transported to the brewery, where the brewing process combines the malted barley and hops, along with yeast, water, and more energy. Here in Australia, we largely rely on highly polluting coal power for electricity, while in Germany, the larger share of renewable energy means less emissions occur during brewing. Once the beer is brewed, it needs packaging. Typically, this is in containers and made from either glass or aluminium, both of which require energy and natural resources to produce. Normally, glass bottles in Germany are washed, relabeled, and used again as new beer bottles. Unfortunately, this is not possible when imported to Australia. The imported German beer in heavy glass bottles is shipped halfway around the world, while the beer brewed in Australia needs far less transport. Electricity is also needed to keep the beer chilled and ready to drink at the bottle shop. And what about how Larry gets to the shop to pick up the beer? If only there was a label to help decide. Larry's not sure which is better for the environment, but decides he likes the look of the German beer. And what happens once the beer has been drunk? Hopefully, Larry puts his bottle in the recycling bin and the material will be used to make new bottles. However, often the container will be wasted, ending up in landfill or as litter in the park. Now more than ever, customers are demanding to know how companies are reducing the life cycle impacts of their products. To find out how LCA can help your product to become more sustainable, visit Edge Environment at www.edgeenvironment.com.au